It also means we have more people available for jobs, except the spouse job. That is really unfortunate. Um, didn't we say we should replace him? With him. Do we have a better marshal? Another count. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where were you when we needed a siege master? I guess we need to take her because she's a powerful vessel. But she's also 71. still hates us. Oh. He took a young wife. Yeah, they're Mandian. That is... That's gonna be a problem, right? sites are like in the Middle East, Persia. Prisoners can be ransomed, uh, sure. And scheme at court, my spy master has come to me with grave news. Why well, would you not yet know who someone is plotting to kill my prisoner, Pernetta? Um, we must stop the villain. Prison criminals, such as Elizabeth and Dauphin Richard. What has he done? He's excommunicated. But he would rise up against me, would have to fight him again. Um, anybody else in my prison? You. You would make a good knight. You, eight pounds, not really good. And you, what are you doing in my prison? Why does your husband not have any money?
Yeah, because ransoming is, will just give us a hook right here. Yeah. So let's do both. Recruiter. Who is he? Rosenberg. We have an independence faction, so there's a community mercy to my conversion. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um the king of what he wants the kingdom of Burgundy, yes, okay. And uh, she wants independence. We have some people who want to lower crown authority. They can send an ultimatum. So they will probably rebel against us anyway. The mount conversion, he might accept. Is the, uh, the holy order available? Because usually they are not. They're not available. Anyway, we have more soldiers and more money. Use a hook. I don't have a hook available as a house head. Okay. My faith is too strong to be swayed by your earthly words. I would rather attain my reward in the realm of the spirit. You will pay the price in this world. It's a crime that allows me to rightfully imprison him. Dano comes of age. Okay. He would make for a decent steward. And Meinhild also came of age. Look at that. Mind is touched. Now oh, that's nice. So, uh, should I just revoke his titles or should I imprison him first? He will not accept, so. That duke is excommunicated. This one. Imprison him too. Yeah, he will rise up against me too. For sure, because he wants the kingdom. And he will not accept minus 20% success chance. Uh, we might do that down the line. Um, David, I think we should just try and imprison him. And he will definitely rise up in rebellion against us. Um, we shall move our rally point to here. And how are we doing with our knights? It's okay. And yeah, we'll see when he rebels if we can rally the troops. What? Oh, they all together decided, okay, this is the moment. And can I now hire the Holy Order? No, they're not available. What good that does us? They weren't available for the Crusades, they aren't available now against my... vassal of a different faith. Oh. 
Why is there no commander here? I have, yeah, because my marshal is in the rebellion. So Stefan died from his wounds. Ooh, that's why. Um, they're going for our capital. I guess we should go after them. Siege that's down there. Um, why don't you come and help me? Change the commander. Who do we have? Yeah, wreck him, definitely. Who do we have? Him. They go there. Oh, they did. Oh, she was pregnant. That was a decisive victory. Wow. And uh, well, it's on the siege, yeah. Can we go and get them as well? Raiders, they always choose the worst time. Slaughter, yes, we know. Um, you know what? Yeah, we need to go get them. Let's let's go get those raiders if we can. Yeah, if you go and get them. Yeah, thank you. Can okay, I look at your perk? Great. Some foundations. <clears throat> and we win the Battle of Amsterdam. 
but there are still raiders here. No, here. Follow them. Game. And there is another holy order. Good. Um, where should we go? There is another holy order. Can we uh, order them? Yes. Great. Yeah, um, they might be fighting down here, but I'm not going to go down there unless I have to. Uh, can we, uh, yeah, team up? Um, okay. They are going that way, they are going that way. Oh, my allies are sieging Amsterdam. Yeah, they are probably gonna go for Aachen, I would imagine. Chasing them again, huh? Okay, Battle of Kocham. Again, decisive victory. 64%. Okay, um. Go back this way. Everybody going away. I mean, let's go to Clave it in. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Ad is pregnant again. What is that here? Okay. We are known far and wide. How often do you put your marshal on train commander for his control of county? Um, I find mostly I'm doing uh, control because it's necessary and um, yeah if we're in peace and uh, most of the realm is under control then I'll put them on train commander so yeah not that often actually Where are you going? Down here? No, let's go here first. Okay. No for you. 
dedication to your faith. And we have raiders again. Where are they? Here. In Curlin. That's not good. That's not good. One, actually. They'll be long gone before we get there. But maybe we can retrieve the loot. If they don't get in their ships before we get there. Oh, damn. Fellow servant of the Lord, as our order of the Knights Templar grow, we need more land from which to organize our defense of the Catholic faith. The city of Omen is perfectly suited to our purpose, and we wish to lease it into service for our cause. Yes, except the Knights Templar hasn't been of much help to me. But they would give me some money. The city of Omen is part of Oversticht. Yeah, it's Count Valderich. We do like him, but he's getting older. Uh, Bridlington is in uh, England, right? Bridlington is part of uh, East Riding. Yeah, would Bridlington not serve just as well? You have in your death a rebel leader that you captured by chance since your uncle is a heretic. Uh -huh. We actually have Prince David in prison right now. A rebel leader. Holy order dismissed. Why have they been dismissed? He left the Liberty War because he's in prison. You mean him? He isn't. He is not a, oh, uh, uh, okay, there could be others, he's Mandian, Earl got some readers, so he's Mandian, right, you can go, and you, you're a Catholic, yeah, okay, um, recruit him. I guess. So. Demand conversion. You also, right? Norfolk. Um. Yeah, we're just too late to attack them. So let's stay here and see where they go. No, they're leaving. Okay, in that case, uh, maybe we should go and attack them. My son! Oh, I have another son. No, that's not what I need. Irminov again? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, where's my list here?
Eang is the name of a man from the time of heroes. order has been established in Austria by Pope Alexander. Um, yeah, why were they dismissed? And they are actually now available for no cost. How close are we? 99%. So yeah, that's really no need. Um, as you see, let's go for uh, the capital. In case it doesn't tick over and it does. Okay, 100%, Liberty War, Enforced Demands. That's a lot of demands. You gain dread, imprison every rebellious vassal and gain a title revocation reason against each of them. The Liberty Faction is disbanded, its members cannot join factions for 10 years. We gain dread, we imprison Duke uh, Edniwine, Duke Lambert, Duke Rudolf, and uh, of course uh, the older Duke of um, Prince David, the Duke of Holland, was already in our prison. Greetings, my least blessings upon you and your house. I know when I am defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Yes. So. He is in our prison. We now have a title revocation reason, so we shall do so. All of his titles, right? No, well, we can only do one at a time, okay? And um, revoke title Duchy of Utrecht as well. Yes, and you shall be. Well, he is. Not just the heretic, he moved to a completely different faith, so we can't <coughs> execute him. We would even lose stress. But I gained a trade familiar Kinslayer, which is not so good. And I gain stress because I'm compassionate. So I lose stress and I gain stress, but overall I lose more than I gain. The problem is, do I want to be known as a familiar kinslayer? My uncle converted to an evil faith, rebelled against me when I forced him to convert back to Catholicism, ransom him, I think he should be burned at the stake. Ransom him for a hundred gold. He's also my rival now. And he has 30 intrigue. 30 intrigue. But he won't have any lands. Renounce claims? No, I already took... Oh, renounce claims. Yeah. Well... You mean like this. Demand conversion, renounce claims. Gain a hook. He will not accept that. Yeah, thanks wizards. Um, that would mean he he won't have a reason to fight against us. The thing is, will his son, he doesn't have a son anymore, will his grandson, no. Gichlava, where is that Moravia? Okay. 
you left, but you took with you this beautiful woman from our dynasty. Hmm. But at least you don't have any claims anymore. Luckily, when he does not have his own court, he cannot make assassination plots. Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, my instinct is just to execute him. But the familiar Kinslayer is not nice. So, yeah. Ransom might be the best. The most I can get out of him still. Yeah, this is a problem. She has claimed... No, no, but that's not on us. Right? That's uh, French claims. Orléans. Ah. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we finally can make patriarch. And we can change our lifestyle, right? Yes. We should consider that. Arrange marriage. Who are you? My nephew. Sure. Why not? Um, over the limit. Yeah. We can ask our head of faith for gold. He will accept. We can transfer to the. Um, not sure if we want that. Probably should. August. August. Go for August. Hmm. I thought you suggested before to go for Hall of Body. I mean, this is good, of course, but if we go for medicine focus and whole body, that's also a good thing. We are three counties over our limit, so we definitely need to give away some, some things. Yeah. And it is uh, the year 1001. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I got a message. Oh, that's fine. Oh, to rule of Cuneo. Okay, yeah. We could give away Cuneo. That's what you mean. Yeah. Disband my armies first of all. Too many health duchies, yes. Utrecht. We hang on to a Holland and Kulik. Why go for Holland Body if your learning is so low? Because it will help us to live longer? But yeah, because our, yeah, this Malarik, he has high learning. He got Blade Master. Not Blade Master. Yeah. Malarik was high learning, so he could actually do something about um, the culture, cultural innovations, right? Yeah, he, he doesn't have any children yet. And he needs to get on with that, because she is uh, a bit old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not doing great in that regard, Yu-Gi-Oh! If you're going for it, I think it's better to get a wife 25 to 30 learning. Um, this is not great either. It will take longer to get it than what we gain from it. Yes, there's that. Problem is, our wife is pretty good, but she is not in our court.
So, I'm not sure what to do there. I'm not sure. His learning is good. No, she's not in the council either because she's not in my court. So I get no help from her except her armies. I can call her in whenever I'm in a war and she will always come. Well, her armies will come. And that's good help, but yes. And with several sons, it would be difficult to get to have him inherit both kingdom titles. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, he's not bad, high stewardship. He's getting pretty good in diplomacy. Who did he get betrothed to? Who are you? Hildegarda Mercatier. Okay. She has got a claim on the Kingdom of West Francia. That is why. Look at that. She got a leprous daughter. Ooh. From a previous marriage. Not good. Not good. Well, yeah, because they're not in my court, there's nothing I can do about that. Except, like, do a murder plot or something. But my intrigue is so low, it's not going to succeed. Prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Malarik can finish the academic branch and do half guard focus. Okay. Uh, what happened was um, our father was called into a crusade against England when England was still pagan. And uh, we made a mistake to make his wife, so my father's daughter-in-law, the beneficiary, and we won. So she got the throne of England. And then, of course, we now have separate courts now that he inherited the throne of the Low Countries. Yeah. Should have given that to a daughter instead of a daughter-in-law. But it's too late for that now. We'll deal with the cards as they fall. We should come up. Yes. Um, but no. So. I'm not sure what to do with him. Not sure what to do. Why is Ektafruki so big here? Wow. Yeah, so this is the, the Norsemen, the Normans. Normandy. Okay. At least there is some historical thing to that. Mm. Also, I think we should set our Archbishop on converting. No, not fabricating claim. Uh, converting. Right? We have several counties that are now Mandian. How is my succession line looking? Okay, so it is a Malarik, right? Who will get most, although we just got another son, but he will just get a duchy title. Okay, 
So we have two kingdom titles, the kingdom well, of Frisia, which we renamed to the Lage London, which means the Low Countries. And we have the kingdom of Burgundy. So one son will just go off to Burgundy. That is fine. Problem is that he will also get these two dukes then to go be his vassals. We need to look at that. So if we look for here, then yeah, of course the other sons are next in line. If there were no other sons, he would get both titles, right? England from his mom and the Low Countries from his dad. But then that would mean we need to somehow exclude these. And I'm not seeing any possibility. They're not in my court my wife got England before eh, I got the low countries so they're not in my court I can't do anything with them I can't ask them to um, become a monk I can't murder them because they're my children and I don't have uh, the sadistic trait so I'm stuck I can't even kill one of them. And I can't ask them to become monks and take the holy vows. I can do nothing. I can't even give them titles right now. So I will have to leave it up to Malarik or I will have to hope that some of them die. <coughs> well, that's bad. Um, yeah. Or what we said, try to outlive them and see what happens down the line. But... Yeah. Uncertainties. Uncertainties. So, yeah, I will pay for my mistakes. But that's fine. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the game. Murder who? The only thing is I could have one by one seduce someone to get a new son and legitimize him. But I can't kill my own children. That's the problem. Right? The murder scheme is grayed out because he's my child. Only way you can do that is if you have the uh, sadistic trait, but we don't have that. So. Just whoever inherits will have to deal with it and will have to fight his brothers. Just like we just did, right? Because we had a brother who inherited the kingdom of Burgundy Although he was then deposed, and we fought them to get that back. Not that we necessarily want Burgundy, but we wanted the Duchy of Landen, which was under Burgundy and the eastern parts here. So, there's that, yeah. Um, we are still wanting to expand here and we want to take on Sweden, although they are now very powerful. So I need to do something about the holdings I have. Uh, what is Utrecht? Exactly. That and that. Okay. 
So I need to find some good people I can give the two of my dynasty. And then I'll be fine in terms of holdings. Yeah, I think I can set him now to training commanders. We still have some levies to build back up, but let's train our commanders, see if we can get some good ones. Improve them. Change the succession law to partition at least. I don't think that's possible. Especially because we still have vassals who oppose. Okay. You can bring your last child to your court for education so that your queen does not ruin it. I can have a look at that. Um, I partition. We don't have heraldry partition. Yeah, we need hereditary rule for this, which we don't have. And we need our all our vassals to approve. And that's another good reason to go for a learning character to get those improvements. We are currently doing communal government so we can develop our core counties better. How long before you get heraldry? Uh, there is hereditary rule. That would only take 20 years. And if you switch to that, this will take 36 years. Yeah. What? No, it's four years. Okay. So we can switch into... Was it hereditary rule that we needed for partition? Yeah. And then high partition needs heraldry. And heraldry, I don't think, is even in early medieval. Right? We would need to go to high medieval. There is heraldry. But we only have two of 17. So it will take... More than a century, I think. Yeah. Now we'll just deal with partition as it is for now. Um, I think developing and getting enough tax income and being strong enough um, to survive attacks, that is good. We'll deal with that with the partitioning because usually the, the main heir gets the powerful armies right all the men with arms and it's very easy to just fight the brothers and get the stuff back that you want that's not usually a problem especially because upon inheritance they also have no vast no uh, allies So it's not really a big problem to have confederate partition. I can work with that. Although I've now been talking like half an hour about how to prevent problems with that, but yes. It's not such a big problem. It's an early time in the game, still not worried. No, I'm, I'm not really worried. Um, just trying to think of what's the best strategy uh, but mostly, yes, I'm frustrated that I can't influence the education and marriages of my children. And this one is actually in my court. Okay. The newborn. So what kind of education do we want to give him? Do we want to give him a learning education? push him towards learning because that would help with cultural innovations stuff like that if but yeah no he's not gonna be the heir it's very unlikely 
learning unless it's child retreat at age three says otherwise. Yeah, but we can only change it once, right? So if I just give him to a tutor who's good at learning and then see how things work out in a few years. Yeah, okay. Our bishop isn't very good. Any number of times before h6? You sure about that? You can change the education focus freely until age six, at which point it will get locked in. Ah, okay. Okay, yes, it says so here. Just need to remember to do that. Keep an eye on that. Um, I'm thinking of learning. Yeah, he's good at diplomacy because he is beautiful. Genius gives plus five to all. Um, because we have Rome, we get plus one stewardship. And then because he is uh, beautiful, we get plus three in diplomacy. Yeah, but I have other spin and I'm not looking at them. <laughs> like half of these are dead. Yeah, I should clean this up and keep an eye on it. You're right. Okay. Um, learning education, that's what we're going for. And um, we need somebody who is good at that. What we want. He has great pox. How did you get that, Mr. Bishop? If it's not going to be your heir, other options are just as viable. Yeah, no, he's like the fourth son. Fifth, yeah, fourth son. There is a sister too. So since there is very little we can do, Malarik will most likely inherit. Unless he dies in some war. But then by that time he might have a son himself. And then there are two others in between before he gets to the inheritance. So yeah, I'm just gonna put him on learning and uh, if he does well in that we might even ask him to join the church. Um, but who do we have? Do we have anybody who is a mastermind philosopher? The one with the great box. Yeah, no, we're not gonna risk that. Well, we could risk it, but. Can you choose your sons as knights? Because they're not in my court and I can't invite them to my court. Oh, I can. Oh, because he's now of age, I can invite him to my court. That is good. Why can't I invite him? Because he is the heir. Uh -huh. Okay, so he is the heir to the throne of England and Malik to the throne of the La Holanda. Interesting. I can't invite him to court because he's being cared for in England. Yeah. And this one, the newborn, she just dropped off at my court for some reason. Makes no sense, but that's life. Okay, so I want to educate him. I do have a few good people. Diplomacy says he's going to inherit the duchy. He may possibly make decision order for me. Ah, so yeah, he would add to our renown. Well, in that case, we should educate him ourselves, right? Well, let's see how it works out. We can still change it in the next few years. Um, so now Malik will come to us. 
He's already a blade master, 10 prowess. Hmm, we can see. We can see. All right. Um, I'll let my mind go over it when I have time. Uh, for now, I think I have to call it a day. I have somebody coming uh, in a bit, so I'll need to get ready for that. You need to kill Malarik. Well, I don't need to kill him, but I'm not excited about him, except for his learning. That is really good. Yeah. Because the others just suck at learning, unless I, unless he becomes really good at that. But then still, I know I will need to get set these others up now. Um, I think we'll just stick with Malarik, right? Let him do some uh, cultural innovations. And uh, now that he comes to my court, can we do anything about that wife of his? By the time you die here before, there's not a good rule to start with. Yeah. Well, what else can we do? What else can we do? Okay, as I said, I have to go. So that is it for today. Uh, I hope you all will check back in again tomorrow when we will continue the story of uh, House the Wolf of the Lage London. Thanks for watching and uh, following and uh, hope to see you next time. Lend me to this perk tree. That's a good one, wizard. Good suggestion, yes. It will unbalance the um, succession though. So we'll have to see what we can do, but yeah. Okay. That's it uh, for today.